This is code.org. And the balloon's falling. Let's see what we're doing. Mouse clicks. Here's a program that drops a balloon down the screen. Make the balloon go up and down according to whether or if the user is pressing the mouse. Do this. Add code that checks if or whether if the mouse key is being pressed. Move the balloon up if the mouse is down. Otherwise, else move the balloon down. So if the mouse is down, the balloon should be going up, right? If I'm clicking, balloon goes up. Otherwise, else, if the mouse is not down, the balloon should go down. So if I'm not clicking, the balloon goes down. If, otherwise, or else, right? Hint, 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 hint. All right, so right now we're using the counter pattern. What's happening to the balloon dot Y? We're pros at this right now, right? So the draw loop runs 30 times a second. We white out the screen. Keep in mind, if I pull this up though, the balloon smears because we're no longer whiting out the screen. So this clears out the screen each time and redraws the sprite 30 times a second. It redraws the sprite and each time the sprite's Y value changes a little bit. So what this says is the, well, this is the counter pattern. This is the balloon dot Y. So the balloon's Y property has a new value. The Y value is now equal to whatever the Y value used to be equal to. It would start at 50 for instance plus one. So now the Y value is 51. We redraw the sprite with a Y value of 51. We go back up and around 30 times a second. The draw loop runs. We white out the background. The balloon dot Y has a new value. It's equal to the old value. Well, we just said it was 51. So 51 plus one. It's now 52. We draw the sprite, so on and so forth. So what they're saying is we want it to go up if I'm pressing the mouse on the screen. So I'm going to do this. If I'm what? If the mouse is down, I need to go up. So if mouse down, yeah, the left key, sure. I need to go up. And they did say mouse. Yep. Okay, so if the left key, that's fine. I need to go up. I'm actually going to use their code. I'm going to switch this out because that's what's pushing. Oh, no, I need that. Just kidding. So... <laughs> If the mouse is down, what's happening? The mouse will be pushed up. So I need an else. I just hit the plus to get this. If the mouse is not down, what will happen? Well, I want the balloon to be pushed down. I'm going to copy their block because there's just one slight change. And I'm going to paste it here. Now, what happens with this? Um, so to go up, remember, you have to subtract from Y. So watch. You see how Y is 347 right here? Zoop, y goes down if I go up. So to make something move up, you subtract from Y. Kind of weird. Now what's happening? This is a conditional statement. We're going to get a Boolean. So we're asking the computer, hey, computer, is the left button of the mouse currently down? The computer will either say true or false. So if it says true, then the code right here in this blue mouthy thing runs. So this line of code would run. And like we said, what would this line of code do? Well, instead of adding to balloon.y, right, it says old value of balloon.y minus one is the new value. And minusing one would make it go up. And it would never run this. So if this is true, this code runs. This if part runs. This could not run and would not run. However, if this is false, I am not holding the left mouse button down. This is false. Well, okay, we're asking the computer, hey, computer, if left button down, false. Oh, okay, well then otherwise, right, then otherwise, all right, else, else, if that button's not down, okay, we need to change the Y still, but we're going to add to it, which pushes it down. Always, 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 either this line of code runs because the mouse button's down, or this line of code runs because it's not down. Never, ever, ever will both run, right? So if this is false, it cannot run this code, it has to run this code. If this is true, it has to run this code. It cannot run that code. And then it just continues onward. Let's test. So no mouse down for me. The balloon drops. Click, 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 click. And I'm holding it. Did it want me to hold it or mouse? The mouse is down. So I can just hold it. Boom. <laughs> awesome. Onward.